Hey guys, this is Simon from Fateless, and damn, we've got an absolute cracker for you today. This is going to be an Easter special where we showcase some cool new concept art. We're going to show you a new level in terms of design and some of the playthrough. Uh, we're going to show you pretty much like a, a showcase of some of the Egyptian faction, which we're calling the Aru, um, which is going to be super sweet. So loads in this video. Make sure you comment down below who is your favorite of the concepts you see in this video. Let us know. Um, and I will say that when we're showing concept art, it's really polarizing. People that are like nailed it versus I feel like you could have done it in a different way. All of that, all of that kind of feedback right now is super cool. So I guess let's dive in. Now, before I get into the Aru, there was just one of our new characters that I needed to show you. Usashi is finished in 3D. Uh, pretty much, we've got to sort out the lighting and stuff like that, but ultimately, he's looking badass um, and super sweet. Like, I really, really love his design. I feel like it's, it's done incredibly well. Texturing is very cool. Uh, and we do have a kind of like design template now for his weapon as well, which is being worked on right now. So we kind of came up with this um, multiple katana type of vibe. And uh, yeah, our team are working hard at bringing that to life. So. One of our new 3D guys, I had to show you it because I was so psyched by it. But um, anyway, let's get into the Aru stuff. As ever, I like to give you a bit of a flavor of how we go about doing this. So before Magic Media, who are our dev partners, actually get involved, we've got Dane and the team basically pull together different visual images of, I guess, heroes from other games, from just like artwork that we find that feels cool. Okay, and it's in the direction that we like. So for the Aru here, we basically pulled together a whole bunch of visual cues in a mood board where we're just like, yeah, look, there's a whole bunch of really cool elements that we could draw from. You know, we can also look at things like um, armor types, uh, weaponry, all of that stuff that, that generally is right for this type of group of heroes. We like to make sure that when you see someone from a faction, the faction's got a decent identity, okay? And then we get to work. And uh, I'm going to show you some stuff now, some of which you might have seen before, but most of it's going to be brand new. So I'm going to show you one you have seen before, but the fully fleshed out concept for Ra, who's going to be a legendary in the game. Do you kind of see the front image of him here, which is sweet, like one of my faves, honestly, so far. You see a bunch of the detailing for the back view, which Esther has drawn up to make sure the 3D guys get a sense of where the layering happens with the final kind of uh, back view design. We've also got some tails here. So this is his weapon, which is awesome. And then he's got this kind of like, see here, the power of the sun that runs through his veins. So you kind of get that orangey red vibe on his skin, which we will see in, in his kind of like 3D form. You can see them glowing from within. As for the skin, it would look slightly matte and dusty as he's constantly shedding the ash. So you can kind of see this effect that we're going to have. This will be a VFX when we get him in game of this kind of like smoldering feel um, with like almost like degenerating but also re regrowing the same skin over and over which I can't wait to see what it looks like honestly I'm so psyched by the visual kind of like cues of this so Ra is going to be well Ra is one of my favorite concepts that we've got in the mix right now but let me show you a common <laughs> Bam! this is a common so this is the mummy concept oh man I just freaking love it. Like, I literally love it. I know there's not as much like just general stuff going on, but um, again, like, yeah, the team has absolutely knocked it out of the park in terms of concept in here. And if you just ignore the sort of T pose that we're going to have for all of these these different champs, it, Alex and Esther, in terms of the concept and workers, uh, they've done such an amazing job, honestly. Let's check out a few others then. So we've also now got Anubis. This is not finished. We, we actually had a, a big chat about this today. We want him to feel perhaps a bit more threatening, I guess. Anubis will be a legendary in the game. But again, it's our take on a pretty well-known character, yeah? A pretty well-known legend that people have, have had different takes of before. Not finished, but a first, a first kind of glance at a look. Two weapons, both looking absolutely uh, legendary. And yeah, I really, really like the kind of like first, first go. We then got Imhotep. So Imhotep will be a rare in the game. Um, you know, known for his kind of like being the architect, almost being being the Merlin or the, the scholar of the Aru. And um, again, like it just kind of got that support vibe, right? It was like incense coming out of his staff. 
I freaking love this. Like, I just think great visual design. I really like how clean it is. I really like the kind of like color themes. And yeah, for me, this one's nailed, nailed on. We then go for Horus, which is, again, quite a well-known um, legend or quite a well-known myth. Um, I particularly like with this one, just a kind of unique feel to the, the, the whole vibe and the staff here with the tells to, to kind of like some of his mythology. Comment down below, what do you think? Is this the sort of Horus that you'd want to collect in a game like this? Is it badass enough for you? And then we've got Osiris here, who again, like the staff is super sweet. Osiris in, uh, I think Osiris is epic and Horus is legendary in the game. So uh, just to give you a sense, and obviously we're not seeing back views yet where you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff just kind of like dropping off them. But anyway, this is, um, and by that I just mean like goodies, you know, little trinkets and stuff like that, which is suitable for this game. But yeah, both of them, I think super sweet. This was an interesting one. So we're, we're working on an Imhotep as well uh, in terms of design. And we're kind of thinking to go with more like a mummified um, feel to it. So again, our take on, on a design that's been done a few times. So I thought I'd just show you the kind of early, early sort of stages of this. And there's one you would have seen before, but now we start to see Ramses with lighting effects. And it's amazing what an impact it makes to get the lighting in there. Right, so this is this is Ramses, he's a rare, and this is a 3D finished one. So this one is actually now in our kind of build. But you can just kind of see when that lighting starts to connect with some of the work that Walter did here. I mean, I've, I absolutely love this design. <laughs> like, in terms of 3Ds, damn, it's it's one of my faves. Again, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm saying one of my faves for all of them, but they're, it's really good. Really, really solid. You can kind of just see now with the lighting in there, the quality of work that's gone on in the 3D modeling. Something you wouldn't have seen yet is the weaponry we're designing for him. So this was the concept for Ramsey's weapons. Um, so yeah, you kind of, uh, I don't know what these weapons are called. It's obviously got a scepter here, but I'm not sure what this one is actually called. Anyway, the three-headed snake from Ramsey's tomb is, is kind of like the tail. So you can just see the snake heads um, on the weapons. And these are two different designs for, for the same thing. Uh, and then when we get to the work that's actually been done so far, so it's not finished yet, but we're starting to get there. You've got the hook that's being done here, uh, again, by Walter. Walter's finishing the, the kind of modeling. And then we've got some of the work. It's not far from finished, actually. Some of the work that's been done on the flail. That's it, flail. So starting to get some of those bits coming in, which again, once we get him animated in build, we'll be able to show you the kind of like finished piece. So super sweet, actually, super sweet. That is all of the 2D stuff. Now let me show you some level design for the Egyptian area, for the Aru area. And you know, we're gonna be tying this back to law and stuff like this. So overall design kind of concept here. And then we kind of got, if, you, if you've seen any of the videos so far, we've got this Lego, Lego block mentality. So you're able to kind of pick up a piece and slot it in wherever you want. Uh, that means that we're able to have quite a unique formation of levels. It means that we're gonna be able to rerun different levels and make them feel unique every time, um, which I think for this type of genre is quite unusual. You know, it just gives a better flavor for the game. This is like the overall look when there's plenty of blocks kind of added together. Um, again, I think in terms of level design, it's really interesting. It's got a whole bunch of tells to the faction and uh, we're gonna be able to kind of showcase this in a build real soon. In terms of our milestones, uh, what we do is we have like two week sprints uh, within Fateless. So two week sprints where it's like, these are how many champions we need to design. This is how many levels we need to design in concept. And then this is what we need to turn into 3D. Okay, so this is one of the next levels that will be completed in 3D that I'll be able to show in an actual build. Right now, this is the very first kind of like fly through, if you like. Not finalized, so still a bunch of texturing to do and, and design to do. And this is a fairly low quality recording i guess but gives you an idea of the type of feel we're going for you know the, the type of concept we're doing for level design and you can kind of see you know some interesting different different bits which we might play around with and yeah anyway it gives you a nice kind of flavor of what's going on so i guess out of all of those which is your favorite concept so far which of the aru would you most like to get your hands on let us know down below don't forget if you haven't already sub to the channel really helps us out come and join our discord come and join the discussion 
Uh, there's giveaways in there. There's, there's kind of like community events, all that type of stuff. We really, really value the support. Anyway, I've been Simon from Fateless, and I'll see you in the next one.